Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Naya Studios. This is the best workout for toning and sculpting your arms without weights. It might seem easy at first, but give it a try and let me know how you feel in 15 minutes. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for showing up. As always, if you like this type of videos and content, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button and leave me a little comment below so I know what are the workouts that you guys like the most. All right, let's get started. Open your legs a la second and bring your arms by your side along shoulder level and pulse your arms down. Flex your palm and feel the resistance coming at you from left to right. And pulse down and down. Now flip your palms, fingertips facing the floor. Now let's alternate. You're gonna pulse down and up with the fingertips. Make sure that your core is engaged, that your rib cage is soft and that your shoulders are down. And let's do a couple more. Now bend your knees and pulse your arms back, back. Like you're trying to open curtains behind you and push it. Now flip your palms in and up, in and up. Like you're flipping pancakes on a pan, that's it. Press in and up. Warming up the shoulders and now make little circles in one direction. Fingertips long and extended to the side. And change direction. And just release, give yourself a couple of shoulder rolls back. And extend your left arm at a 90 degree angle. Now flip the palm down, come back up. And keep going like this. Make sure that your left shoulder is level so it's not getting closer to your ear. You're plugging your shoulder blade in your back. Now reach the arm to the right top diagonal. Bend the right knee and come back at 90 degree. That's it. Extend the left arm and come back. Feel the resistance under your armpit when you come back at 90 degree angle. That's it. Working the core at the same time, squeezing the glutes. Now pulse up and stretch. Lower down and up, lower at 90 degrees. Your lats should start feeling a little warmed up, a little fire. That is good, guys. Keep going. Don't forget to breathe. And just shake it out. Let's go to the other side. Right arm, 90 degree angle. Down and up. Press it down. Come back up at 90 degree. That's it. The weight is equally distributed in both feet. And now extend towards the left diagonal. And come back at 90. That's it. Reach and press down. Feel the air under your armpit, the resistance when you come back, and the length when you reach. Last one. And bring the arm up, press down. Reach up and press down with resistance. Keep your right shoulder plugged in, so don't let it get out of your socket. And last one. Shake it out. Let's get both arms up, 90 degree angle, and reach the arm straight up and press down. That's it. Now you should feel it in your shoulder blades, also in your back, the expansion when you come down and press the shoulder blades into your back when you press in 90 degree angle. That's it, keep your ribcage soft, don't pump your chest forward. Now close in and out. Chest press, that's it. Connect your forearms together in the center of your body and open by your side. 
put the intention in the muscle group that is working right now. Close in and expand out. That's it, beautiful guys. All right, just shake your shoulders, roll them back. Stretch your torso, interlace your finger, go to one side, whatever feels good to your body. To the other side, maybe grow an inch taller, lengthen. And let's get into the blade slice. So you're gonna slice your left arm towards your right knee and come back. Slice it up and come back, that's it. Find the mobility here. It's a fluid movement, but it's also engaging the core and the arms. Imagine you're chopping something, you're chopping the air, you're chopping a fruit, whatever it is for you, and just slice it, chop it, that's it. Find the mobility in the shoulder capsule, You have two more, last one, and let's put our hands in prayer and let's raise our fingertips past our forehead and press the forearm towards one another, plie, expand and come back with your prayer hands and pulse up. That's it, plie, circle your arms, come up and open the arms back a la seconde. Keep going like this. Feel the flow, the energy. Please bring your arms out and up, and up around last time. And please let the energy float, and come back center. Beautiful. Interlace your fingers one more time, stretch your torso up, and now let's turn on the side into our chair pose. Knees parallel, align with the second toe, and pulse your arms by your side behind you. Imagine big fabrics coming at you from the side and you're trying to push them away from you. Keep your shoulder blades plugged in, now bend your elbows and extend. Keep the level in your shoulder, bend the elbows and reach the fingertips towards the mat. Now raise one arm up, lower it down. Keep going. Same arm, raising by your ear and press it back. Make sure that you're not arching in your back and that your lower abs are engaged. Switch arm. We're also working the inner thighs here. So imagine you have a resistance ball in between your thighs. You're pressing towards it. Both arm goes up and press it back. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Bring it up. Resist when you push. And extend your legs. Beautiful. Let's give ourselves a little stretch. Bring the left arm across your chest. Hook it with your right elbow. Release, place it behind your back and gently press your left elbow with your right arm. Keeping the shoulder level, let's switch it up. Right arm across your chest. Bring the right hand behind your back and gently press the elbow with your left hand. All right, our next session, we're gonna go onto the mat. So lower yourself with control and get into your all fours position. Now extend one leg at a time into your plank and let's shoulder tap. So same arm tapping the shoulder. Make sure that your hips are leveled and try to move them side to side as little as possible. So we're engaging the core and the control in the shoulder stability. Now open one leg, 
Raise the opposite arm. Open and extend. That's it. Open, reach. Come center. Open, extend as much as you can. Don't drop those hips. Don't sink in your shoulders. And keep going. Last one on each direction. Come back center, drop into a full push-up, untuck your toes and stretch your abdominals, stretch your arms, shine your heart through, get back into a rest pose. Let's get back into a plank position for our shoulder dips. Dip into your shoulder and push your shoulder blades away from each other. That's it. Lower and expand. Now maintain that nice diagonal line from the crown of your head to your hips to your heels. Engage those abdominals and release your knees. Push yourself back. Take one deep breath here. Let's move on onto our knees push-ups. We're finishing strong, guys. All right, keep your toes curled behind you. Push your hips towards your heels and now dip into your push-up. Again, bring your hips back and keep your elbows connected to your ribcage. Hug your midline when you go down, push and release back. That's it. Keep those abdominals cooked in and up. I know, I know the arms are starting to burn. If they're not already burning, mine are definitely burning right now. And that's it. Give yourself a little stretch. And let's work our triceps now. So turn on and sit with your legs in front of you. Place your hands behind your fingertips facing your hips. And just open your chest here. Give yourself a little moment to really open your collarbones, stretch your arms. Now lift your hips up. You're gonna bend your elbows, lower your hips, and come back into that reverse tabletop. That's it. Be cautious with the alignment of your elbows and the direction of your fingertips directly towards your heels. And give me two more here. Stay there. Open your chest, look at the ceiling. You're doing beautiful today, guys. Lower your hips all the way down. And let's finish strong with some forearm side bend. So go ahead, place your right elbow onto the mat and lift your hips up. Extend the left arm by your ear. Your legs are long by your side. And lower the arm. Inhale, reach the arm up. Exhale, lower by your hip. That's it. Working the obliques as well. Inhale, reach, and exhale. Lower all the way down. Let's go to the other side. Left elbow on the mat. Extend both legs and reach the right arm by your ear. Exhale, lower. Push the floor away. Don't let that left shoulder sink closer to your ear. And lower all the way down. That's it. We did it. We tone our arm. Let's give ourselves a little stretch. Final moment here. Press your arms up. Take a big inhale. Switch arms. Flip the other arm under and just reach those fingertips towards the ceiling. I told you, we don't need weights to feel the burn and to tone our arms, finding the length, the stability, and reinforcing the entire upper body. Reach both arms up 
and exhale lower by your side thank you so much for joining today workout it was my pleasure to do it with you i'm leaving a link below for my shoulder stretch video go check it out it's gonna make you feel so much better after this intense workout thank you so much again subscribe to the channel and i'll see you very soon